Hey there, I'm Logan Tastic, and this is Reigns. It's been uh, compared to, say, Tinder meets Monarchy Rules, except we're in the Reigns. If I swipe right, something actually happens. Hi, I'm lonely. No time to feel awkward, though. We are starting. We have rules. Uh, well, not rules, objectives. Governed for at least five years. Are you the young king? Uh, yes, I'm young. Oh, okay, so here we go. So you're the one who usurped my throne and sent me to this dungeon to rot for eternity. I wouldn't usurp a throne. I'm a nice guy. Although apparently I'm Edward? Whatever. Uh, no, I did not usurp the throne. Well, you're in charge of the mess now. Good luck with that. You're all pretty cr they're all pretty crazy, you will see. Who's crazy? Just try to keep a balance between the four powers to keep your head on its shoulders. So there are four powers in this that you have to keep balanced. If one goes too high or too low, that is, well, death for your king. And you go through several generations. It'll get into that in the game. But the four powers are religious, uh, or religion, the people, the army, and finances, or the economy. So, keep head on shoulders. Okay. The spirit looks at you thoughtfully, then disappears. You enter the courtroom. Father Philippe, we may have a problem. A monk has started to bite his brothers, and it's spreading fast. Werewolves? Werewolves, I don't think so. No, you should call that cruel lack of physical activity. Well... All right, that was strange. All right, the river drop is flooding a large part of the country. We need to help the... We need help from the church and the army. This is Matt. All right, so if you look at the very top, when I move one way, it will affect... I'll buy a large amount or a small amount. You don't know which... Uh, hmm. If we say no, it'll help uh, affect the people largely, probably badly because of the flooding. So I'm going to guess it'll cost a large amount of money and probably help the people. And if it needs help from the church and the army, they'll probably go down. Let's find out. Yep, red means down. The tower of the ballista is falling apart. We need help. Hmm. Well... Sure. All right, now we need money. Our flag should be changed. It's not really fashionable. Oh, uh, what are our options? Ooh, yeah. uh, an orange cannon on a green canvas. Hmm. Orange on green. That doesn't. That doesn't sound very appealing. A red cross on a golden field. Uh, we don't want the, hmm, don't really want the church getting too uppity, but I think the next, I, I've seen other Bloods players play this, the next option is for the people, yeah, let's go with the Red Cross on Golden Field. This is the coldest winter of the last 30 years, after the weak harvest, your people are starving. Okay, well, we can't afford that, unfortunately, because that would take away from our supplies, I can't help, Lady Bell. The young gathered five years. All right, go achievements. All right, the Eastern Bar Baronies are regrouping under the banner of a terrible warlord. Send the army. Godfrey the Bold. All right, let's send the army. Ooh, I heard the army. Okay. What do you got, Matt? Uh, cereals are very cheap these days, my lord. You should adjust the price. Raise it slightly, or double it. Okay, if we double it, it'll probably hurt people. Or if we just raise it slightly, it should help us with money. All right, that's good. Tweet! It seems a bird was carrying a message, but it's not there anymore. All right, let's see. Look on the windowsill. Look under the throne. Well, the bird hasn't gotten, just arrived, so it wouldn't be under the throne. Check the windowsill. You find a torn paper with a partial message. Arms, excuse me, Zach, my throat. All right, there we go. I have a mute button now. Well, I've had it for a while. Arm what? 
Okay, so we can't click it if it's middle, so whatever. Alright, this message must be important. Let's send men to the boundaries. Or the, the borders. Hmm. It's gonna affect everybody if I say no. Arm, we have to arm. So, I mean, that does sound like something of war, so I mean, yes. Uh oh, people are empty. Your people are famished and unrest is spreading! Justice John. The castle is ransacked, your court dispersed, and you're left with pigeons to rule over. Yay, pigeons! Oh, the king is dead, Edward the Young. Ruled for nine years. Alright, whatever. We'll go on to the second king, Harry. Our objectives are win a duel, recruit the doctor, meet the devil. Oh, lovely. Are you the young king? I, I, I guess so. I mean, I'm a new king. Ha ha! Just kidding, I know we've been through this already. That's our curse, see? I don't understand. We will remember each and every king of this dynasty, every compromise, every death for ages. But what about a restart? It is said that only the devil will allow us to blissfully forget the cursed kings. But does he even exist? Well, he's an objective, so I guess kind of he does? That's an interesting thought. Maybe he does! Maybe we will find him eventually. Uh, I want. I, I like doing achievements, so yes, we'll find him eventually. The spirit, the spirit slowly drifts away. I haven't always been the best reader. What do you want, Matt? The river drop is dry again. We should build a dam. Sure, why not? This dam will limit the Vikings' access to water. Are we sure you want to proceed? Yes. Oh, up the army and the religion. That's that's kind of good. All right, so down with the Vikings. Our beautiful capital smells of garbage half the year. Let's build a sewer system. Hmm. That would, looks like, that would be a lot of money to spend. It help the people a lot. The people kind of overthrew me last time, so nuts to the people. And I'm Harry now, by the way, as, as opposed to Edward. Um, the merchants would like to create a new guild and send their representative to the court. Uh, sure, why not? Economics. The King of the West is offering us money to buy a small part of our country. Yeah, let's get some more money. I mean, it's just a small part of the country. Uh, we lose subjects, though, from it. Uh, the eastern boundaries are attacking, so we sell off the west and the east attack us, trying to push us back in. That's, that's a... Well, to be honest, a smart move on their part, but we'll have none of this. Uh, we, oh, we will only prevail by enlisting the population. Ooh, um... But, can we afford to enlist the population? I think we have to. Your people are famished and your unrest is spreading. What? Castles ransacked again, your court dispersed the yeah, pigeons. It's all about the pigeons. Right, so now we're on to Harry. I, I, sh I should have said no to that one. The harvest has been fantastic, my lord. Alright, well, uh, I guess we can feed, we feed the people or feed the army. Well, let's feed the people. There's a cholera outbreak in the capital. It's the Blue Death. Hmm. We treat the people, costs money, and probably get too uppity. So we don't want, we don't want the people getting too powerful, so close the gates. Well, that hurt the people a lot. My lord, a good doctor just saved the life of my nephew. He's a bit of a musician. He is ill now. Let him in, I guess. I'm a doctor, alchemist, poisoner. I can, oh, we got new cards. Dirty science, lovely. I can handle life for you, or death occasionally. Let's focus on the life part. Right. We should create a museum of science to collect all living creatures. I can help in my spare time, says Justice John. Hmm. Yeah, I I'm up for science. 
Trust is money, help the people. All right. The miners are refusing to dig in the mine. They want a raise. <clears throat> Let's see. No. Um. Well, it's only gonna help the people a little bit. But I mean, more people in the mine need more money, right? Ooh, that costs us a lot. Would you like to play Red Dwarf, my lord? Let's start with a small bet. I don't want to ruin you. Ah, I can't really afford it, Jester. And Junus loose tongue. Not right now, Jester. A new farming technique is considered to improve the harvest. What do you want to do with this income? Share it. It affects all three. Or it's mine! Yeah, I need more money. The Greedy. Build a personal fortune. I am George the Wise. Oh no, I'm George the Greedy now. Oh, how marvelous. This is your 20th birthday. My lord, we should celebrate, says Lady Belle. Hmm. Oh, if we celebrate, it's going to cost us money. Do we have money to spare? Would it bring... It would probably bring up the various factions. Or would saying no help the factions? You know what? Let's go with yes. Happy birthday to me. Oh, it puts all of them up. All right. My lord, I'm Master Cromwell, the merchant's guild master. Please accept this token of our gratitude. <laughs> take no bribe? Yes. If we take no bribe, I'm sure the people will like us, but then they'll overthrow us, the greedy gets. So let's take this bribe. I mean, yeah. More money's nice. General Conventon. Alright, we can never be too propelled. You need to recruit more soldier soldiers. No, that's probably gonna hurt the uh, army. Say so yes, it'll probably help them help the uh, army hurt the people, which is a bit high. And our money's kind of in the middle. It'll probably hurt it a lot because that's a bigger circle. I think we can take the hit to money. Yeah, we could. Cedric Vaja. Hmm, whispering. A young woman claims that her son is in fact your bastard. Should we make this problem disappear? Ooh, let's see. If we say yes, it affects everything. If we say no, it affects the people and money. Hmm, well, kids probably cost money. But, I mean, is the child really ours? Did we lay with a strange woman lately? Um... Did I personally lay with a strange woman lately? No, I didn't. What are you talking about? Mm hmm, whispering. A young woman claimed. Oh, uh, same thing. You never hear from the woman again. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I, I shouldn't laugh at that. Oh, we found some gold in the mines. Should we try to dig deeper? Ooh, do we dig too deep? We need the gold. I mean, we're low on funds. Ah, oh, yeah. And it keeps the people in mind. I probably killed the miners. Alright. A group of villagers pretending they're assaulted by celestial beings. It's probably a trick to pay less taxes. Yes, or I believe them! Um, uh, pay less taxes helps the people. Y yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're full of it. Give me my damn taxes. <laughs> I am George the Greedy, after all. The Kingdom of the South claims that you're betrothed to their young princess, declaring they need war. Wait, so... Wait. So, yes? Sure, let's... Let's get hitched? Yay! We're married! I'm a serial killer. You're my executioner. So what? Well, technically... Technically, the executioner is a serial killer. If we we could, we can't execute the executioner, right? So I mean, if we keep his bloodlust and remember, this is olden times. If we keep his bloodlust in check by regular executions, he won't be killing the general populace. So okay, this job sucks. If I could, maybe, but no one wants to do it. Out of the question. This job sucks. If I could, maybe it sucks, but nobody else wants to do it. 
Wolf, wolf. That's a strange way of spelling wolf. Maybe the guy, maybe the creator's not English. Rex invites you to follow him. All right, all right. Let's go, doggy. Gah, wolf. Rex brings you to the forest. Ooh, forest. Be nice now, Rex. Wolf, grun, wolf. Rex stops in front of a bright orange mushroom. Eat the mushroom, go back to the castle. What does the orange mushroom do? Ooh, clarity. From now on, you will know you more precisely how your decisions affect the kingdom. Is it is it a gift or a malediction? Okay. Wow. Okay, that's 80. So I guess the max value was 100 for each? The doctor, Master Ferrarius? Tell me in the comments how you would pronounce that. I could be the executioner. What? Doctor? You help people, not hurt them. I'm looking for a simple way to test exotic new poisons. I can pay. Hmm. Don't know how that would affect the people, but we give us a little bit more too. You know what? If the doctor creates some um, helpful medicine by, you know, poisoning criminals, sure. Oh, man! The people hated that! It quickly appeared that hygiene was the doctor's last concern, and he took, oh, he took like 50 away from us, that prick! A terrible plague followed the doctor's experiments on convicts. You're among the first to rot. A new high score of 16 years in power. George the Greedy. Now, not something to be proud of, but eh. All right, well, I think I'll leave this one here, a short 16-minute, 17-minute episode. If you like this, leave a like, and uh, stay tuned for more.